Sandy Island for a little family camp we have gone, been going to for 21, 22 years. Tom was a lifeguard on the island. And when we came one year, Tom was there, basically scoping out the families that arrived and the daughters that are coming with them. <laughs> You know, Marianne, she feels she's a connector. So at one point, Tom was up in a lifeguard chair, I think with a Villanova shirt, and she introduced Tom to Liz. And uh, I think that was the beginning <laughs> of it. Liz and Tom met at Sandy Island. Like my dad mentioned, where all the best relationships start. Let's be serious. Um, <laughs> As anyone who has spoken to Liz and Tom about the future knows, there's one phrase that you're definitely gonna hear. We're gonna be living the dream. Whether living the dream involves a lawn service, dog, and three or four children is up for debate. But the one thing we know for sure is that it involves Liz and Tom together. Tom for the first time as well, the quick wave as Liz hopped off the dock at my grandfather's house onto the back of Tom's jet ski. Um, so from day one, it was clear that he was her dream. Going off the first jet ski ride, the first time I met Liz was on that jet ski ride. <laughs> I got the typical Tom, hey, let's go to Wolfboro. Okay, well, yeah, all right, let's go on a jet ski ride. Hey, I'm going to stop by and see my friend really quick. Okay. An hour later, we were on our way back. Me having a lot of questions in my head. Who was just on our jet ski? Like, what's going on here, bud? Come on. Found out she went to Sandy Island. Found out she went to Villanova. I'm going to see that girl again. <laughs> What I really want to highlight to the both of you, though, is that all the little things in your routine day to day, those are the dream. While they may not feel like it at the time, those long drives to New Hampshire, the lazing mornings in bed on the occasional free weekends, and even some of the probably stressful late nights planning this incredible celebration that we're all at here today, those moments where the two of you are together, those are the little moments of treasure. You've been not only my sister, but my best friend since the day you were born. And I'm so happy that you found the love of your life. So happy for you. Could not be any more happier for the two of you. You look great. <laughs> oh my god. You got me. Is this yeah, mine or is this someone else? This is yours. Is it really mine? Yes. Yeah. I wrote a card. But the real challenge today, I think, is being present to each other. How can we find time to sit and put the phones down? Just sit together, find time to sit together, even without saying anything. We can't grow our love for each other if we can't find time to be present to each other.
give this to you. You're going to say, Liz, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Liz, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tom, receive this ring. Tom, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. Hopefully you guys all got to get to see parts of Lake Winnipesaukee. It's a place that both for the Willets and the Mons, it's very, you know, it's, it's a beautiful spot. And that means a lot to us that you have the opportunity to see it. Duran and I and the Willets would like to thank all of you for your love and respect tonight for coming up. Most folks got here in six to nine hours and we very much appreciate all of your hard effort to get here. This union is a little bit, I consider a Boston, New York union. It uh, goes even a little bit into our sports teams. I do believe that everybody should stay fast to their teams, and that includes Liz to New England. Because <laughs> eventually, eventually Tom will come around to a winning team and know he's got to come. A few more games.
toast to Tom and Liz. May they hold truth to their beliefs, both politically and sports. Live life to its fullest and enjoy every moment. May I please introduce to you Tom and Liz Mullen.